The battle begins with Vati eerily hovering into the battle in his most disgusting transfigured form. It's, it starts out with Va you having to destroy Vati's arms and then finally having to shoot each of his eyes. Wait, no. That's the next one. Well, I guess that shows how much I know about this battle. Anyway, the music's awesome. Epic. Awesome. Describes the battle perfectly. With Vadi. So good, I'm speechless. Speechless. Yeah. Moving on. Anyway, number five. This song is amazing. That's the only way I can put it. With, I, you're fighting a giant train in the dark world. The train is trying to kill you. 
and the music is awesome. The music. They made piano sound epic. Do you know how hard it is to do that? Very hard, and I should know. I play the piano. Either way, if you actually play this battle, you'll get the you'll get the demon train sound effects in the song, and it just sounds even better. I kick myself in the butt every time I beat spirit tracks, but forget to save before I face the demon train, so I can play it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. This song feel, fills you with such a feeling of accomplishment, like, yes, I finally beat the game. Because beating Minish Cap is no easy task, even though it is one of the easier handheld games. And beating it 100% is tough. I still haven't done that. But this, feel, this fills you with just a huge sense of accomplishment every time you listen to this song, because I, this... This song is, uh, this song screams end credits. This song screams, you've beaten the game, great job, 
Now go back and read it again so you can hear the song again. I like, I'm not, I have found some Ed Credit themes of the other games, and I haven't really listened to them a whole lot because I've only beaten Ocarina of Time once and I haven't even beaten Majora's Mask. So they're really the only ones I've heard of Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, and Minish Cap, but Minish Cap is definitely the best of the three. See ya next episode.